Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Opinions and facts are different. Um, the reason I bring this up is if you use forums a lot, be aware they mix them up on a regular basis. Um, you've got a lot of people with too much time on their hands. Um, and you'll see it even on here, you're getting the village idiot clicking dislike with every single video. Um, yet not even watching them. That is the typical uh, crab mentality that exists not only in the Philippine community but in the expat community. The point being is take everything with a pinch of salt. The reason I do, I mean, I've had it with people who talk about goats bizarrely, uh, where a guy knows about goats. He breeds them, I think it was Australia or the US. He was um, going to improve the breed he already had X amount of goats etc etc and then people start throwing in opinions that they know better than he does um, yet that's what he does that is actually his life it's not um, what I call hobby expats where hobby expats will set up a small farm or uh, a piggery or whatever you know I set up a piggery I'm not a pig farmer uh, the same way we have roosters, goats, whatever. I'm not a farmer. But at the same time, when somebody's got a thousand herd strong goats and they've been doing it for 30 years, um, his opinion, his facts overall, any, any facts I have. Because quite simply, he knows what he's doing. Um, so be aware of that. Because people will often go, that won't work, that won't work. Um, like jeepneys, buying a jeepney business, ah, oh, you're just wasting your money, da da da. Taxes, wasting your money, da da da. It's not wasting your money. You just got to know what you're doing. Um, there's an expat that runs, I think, twelve jeepneys, um, up in Manila, and he realised, I think, after your ninth, it starts becoming self um, reliant because. Your budget's now ticking over at such a rate that you can fund your repairs and everything else. It starts to recover itself. It, you know, it doesn't need further investment. Um, it just needs good management. Taxes. I know people that run good taxi companies. Um, they actually mark everything on the engine down down at the tires with um, what do you call it? Nail varnish. So they know if somebody swapped anything out or it's been moved because people steal stuff. Um, you got to imagine, you're a taxi driver, you pay 500 pesos a day. Um, you've got a taxi there. Somebody, you know, wants a battery. They'll give you a thousand pesos. You take the taxi over, you swap their damaged battery for the good one. And you just have a thousand pesos in your pocket for not doing a lot. That is the Philippines. A lot of people do that sort of crap. They, they don't even see the fact they're doing themselves out of a job when the owner finds out. And they do because they write down all the serial numbers, all the uh, uh, manufacturer types, etc. And they know if something's gone missing. Ken's taxi must have about a thousand taxis. Um, he's a Japanese, uh, I think it was originally a Japanese businessman. I'm not sure if he's still Japanese. He might be Filipino now. Um, but the point being is it's about business management. But opinions will say, if you're honest, uh, have a small fortune in the Philippines, start with a big one. Well, I'll be honest with you, I put less into the Philippines than I got out. Um, by a lot. Financially, a lot. Uh, our assets are worth, I don't know, uh, four or five million pesos at least. Um, not including the fact that we had seven, eight good years in the Philippines on top of that. And we're still making money. I still make about $1,000 a month um, off the stuff that I was generating on the internet about it. So don't assume people's opinions are right because they are often not. What you have is a lot of people that are sat around, uh, got nothing to do all day, um, when they retired or moved to the Philippines, they didn't even pre-plan on what they were going to do. So they'll just sit and whine all day. Um, and it's not just Philippines. I was dealing with Muppets in Spain this week. 
uh, relating to a telephone number, something so trivial and simple. But you get response like, why don't you Google it? Um, because the Google what number is out of date, it's been changed since then. I don't ask dumb questions to even dumber people. Um, I was just asking for a simple telephone number. That's the sort of level of mentality you get a lot of the time. So be aware of it. A lot of these people are just stupid. Um, well, they may not be stupid, but they become bitter, twisted, and sit around all day whining. Um, so opinions are irrelevant a lot of the time. Fact is what you're after. Um, so like farming, I would go with the farming communities. Philippines got loads of forums and stuff that purely deal with farming. You've got to hunt them out. They're in Yahoo groups and stuff like that because some of them are old technology. Um, but they're there. Um, and you'll get better advice and stuff on there. But also hunt out the expats that are already running a farm or whatever, if that's what you're doing, or running jeepney roos. Because they will know all the pitfalls. Um, when I started TP, it's because I just wrote all the pitfalls as it went. You know, if I start a new business and something goes wrong, I write about it. I, I have no false pride. Um, if something goes wrong, it goes wrong. The, the whole fact is, um, I watch things like Dragon's Den or whatever, where you see people sitting there arrogantly acting as if they they found the perfect solution for everything and, oh, look at me, I'm rich. Do you mention the 200 things that you got wrong before you got rich? No, no. And it's like with self-help books, it's exactly the same. Um, self-help, personal development. Uh, most of them do not talk about the hard times and the fact of how they got from A to B because they don't want to talk about that. That's why you'll hear a lot of people say, only, only listen to successful people that are successful already. Utter nonsense. Because the fact is, people on the same journey as you understand it better than those because those people are normally selling you something which uh, is part of their journey to wealth. Um, where, like me sitting in Spain last week talking about ebook development, where somebody actually writes, uh, published ebooks, and some have actually won awards. Um, he knows more about ebooks and how to make money out of them. I take it on the chin. Um, some of my stuff's naff. I don't care. Um, I'm aware of it. You know, the fact is, there's a there's information that I know are not going to make money. It's not because I'm churning information. It's because certain people will want that bit of information, but it may not be a, a large amount of people. Um, so some of it may be very simple, straightforward stuff, but the reality is that that information not be, may not be aware, uh, available elsewhere. So I just share it. But anyway, going off tangent as usual, the, the opinions, ignore them. Um, stick with facts. And that's why I get in arguments with a lot of these expats because I haven't got time to waste listening to 20 people nattering on about stuff they don't know. Um, that people just say the facts. Or if somebody says, well, this is this, blah, blah, blah. I say, well, where did you get your facts from? Um, and then you'll find out, well, I heard it from, so it's an opinion. Because that's not fact. It's third, fourth, fifth-hand information that may not have even been true in the first place. Facts are, I went to this, did this, this is the result. That's the facts. They're, they're very specific. Um, and that's why I say facts and opinions are very different. Um, but often people will argue with you because you've upset them uh, because your facts overrule their opinions because yours is actually based on true information. Um, and they don't like people telling them that they're wrong. Welcome to the uh, expat forums. Doesn't matter where you're in the world, there is always some of them. Um, but I would just say stick to facts and avoid opinions um, unless you know they're good opinions. You know, you, you can only find people that are on a similar mindset as you. Um, but they also say, in my opinion, I think X, which, which is what you want. You know, you want people to be honest with you. Um, like opening a restaurant, it's in my opinion, I don't think it'll make a lot of money because da 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 da. They've also given a justification, which the justification may actually become fact.
because there might be stuff you haven't looked at. Um, might be the fact that Joe Bloggs down the road kept getting hassled by the police for corruption every day. Not only do they want money, they want to eat in there every day. Um, so then he ends up with more and more police going there, breaking his business. So from those sort of things, the information's useful because you need to understand how do you deal with that. Do you get a good lawyer or get friendly with the mayor so he kicks them out of your restaurant? Whatever it is, the opinion is backed up by fact. But don't just take things that are just opinions. It's just a waste of time. All right, thanks for watching.